So continuing on the custom card review street, we're going to be talking about a new rarity that's coming in from our guy Jason. It is a Tech ULR TN. But before I go ahead and get into talking about this TN, go ahead and send me your custom cards over at bhdebcustomcards at gmail.com. It's right above my head, and I usually leave the email in the description, so you can just go ahead and copy, paste it, go ahead and send me your custom cards, and I'll review it in the future. So with that out the way, uh, there's no nothing to talk about inside the email besides just a new rarity, period. So hey. Let's get straight to it. Now, this TN, uh, okay, so, wow, look at that super attack effect for his 18 key. Anyways, a new rarity has arrived. Mighty Warriors, final stand, tech, ULR, TN, but it says 10. I mean, it's just a little, uh, a little typo, but it's supposed to be TN. So, his leader skill is Earth Bread Fighters or Andros Cell Saga 3 key and 200% across the board. And his 40% of the stats is to Earthlings, Turtle School, or Final Trump card. I did pull up the 200% leader skill, and I'm not gonna lie, there are a couple of powerful options on this team, but this team is just going to be carried by its top heavy units, for sure. A couple of good easy A's, a couple of powerful top heavy cards. But, yeah, that's all I really have to say about this category, and that's really what it's looking like. But anyways, getting back on over to the card. Uh, the 12 key, that being the triple Dodon Ray. He gains 30% defense for 6 turns, does colossal damage to enemy, and has a 70% chance to stun for 2 turns. And his 18 key, the Neo Tri-Beam, he gains 100% attack for 4 turns, does mega colossal damage to enemy, and raises allies defense by 10% for two turns. And he uh, he basically just loses 15% HP, which just makes sense because of course he's doing Neo Tri-Beam. He's, you know, obviously it takes a lot of energy out of him. So he's losing 15% HP and he's giving defense for multiple turns. I gotta say, I do like both of his super attack effects. I do. Yeah, for sure. The fact that he does have a support type buff inside of his 18 key while doing massive damage, and he's also gaining defense for multiple turns, I do like what I'm seeing here. Because he double supers and he's gaining 100% attack for 4 turns as well as 30% defense for 6 turns. Meanwhile, with the double supering, he can have a 70% chance of stun inside his 12 key, as well as him supporting. So him being able to have that debuff on him, that being that stun chance, as well as that support for multiple turns, that being defense, which is obviously notable, is good. I feel like if he added something that has to do with him losing HP from his Neo Tribeam to support like something inside of his card, that would be a very witty design. Certainly. Okay, so it's passive. All out struggle. He activates interest animation once only, and he gets two key, 20% attack and 20% defense. And he also gets a, let me just go ahead and highlight the entire thing. So he gets two key, 20% attack, 20% defense, and a medium chance to additional, and a low chance to additional super. So he has a 30% chance to do a, I'm going to assume a additional normal, provided you are watching this video, the person that created this card, go ahead and let me know. And that 30% chance of a normal has a low chance of it becoming a additional super for five turns from the unit's first turn. And he gets 220% defense at the start of turn. So he does have that key low amount of attack and defense but he does have that additional super attack chance but they're super low for those first five turns as well as him having that 220 percent defense which is obviously something that is core to his kit that's going to be very important from his uh interest animation but of course it's the 220 percent defense at the start of turn now he gets 550 percent attack makes sense considering that it's the the tn does the neo tri beam uh, so he gets 550% attack on super, but he loses 150% defense. Because it says, but minus 150% defense. And he has a 50% chance to additional when at 18 key. Super, wait, oh, I'm, I'm reading this very weird, okay. So let me just go ahead and highlight this because there's a period over there, there at the end of the uh, sentence. So he has 550% attack 
when doing a super attack, but loses 150% defense at the same time. And he also has a 50% chance to additional 18 key super twice if key gauge is maxed out. So he has a 50% chance to additional 18 key super twice if key is maxed out. Huh. That, that's worded a little weirdly for me. I'm not quite understanding that. I'm going to assume that if your key, of course, if you're at 24 key, he has a 50% chance to do his 18 key super twice. But the only thing is, you know, we got to read the card completely before I go ahead and uh, talk on that uh, specific part of the card. Uh, anyways, but I mean, with that being said, he's going to be doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Okay, I'll just put that out there. He's, he should be doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Uh, and he gives uh, super type Andrus Castell Saga allies. Uh, yeah, he gives super, super class uh, character, super class uh, type Andrus Castell Saga allies. One key, 40% attack and 50% defense. That is pretty monstrous. Uh, and he also guards for the first seven turns. If facing an extreme class enemy, if uh, Andrus Castell Saga category ally, no, Andrus Castell Saga super class ally is on rotation so he guards for the first seven turns if face an extreme class enemy if a uh, andros castell saga category super class allies on rotation this is it's worded a little weirdly i'm not quite understanding it i'm going to assume that you gotta go up against an extreme class enemy while having an andros castell saga category ally on the rotation with him i'm just gonna assume that's how it's supposed to be uh just uh taken he gets 30 percent damage reduction if guard is active and he also gets an additional 21 percent attack and two percent defense per key sphere obtained if an andosat cell saga category ally is on the rotation for one turn only so he gets that nuking capability provided you have an Andrew Slash Cell Saga category ally attacking on the same rotation with him. So you essentially want an Andrew Slash Cell Saga team, like a full team, just about, right? Or does have you just want to have the allies regardless? I mean, you do want the full team because his support is very, very good. One key and 40% attack and 50% defense is pretty damn good. Granted, it's only one key. I mean, you cannot just you can't brush off the fact that he's giving this 40% attack and 50% defense. Uh after 10 turns have elapsed, he gets an additional 780% defense for one turn if all allies on the rotation are final trump card, and he activates a domain for four turns after 11 turns have elapsed. 11 turns? I don't think you're going to reach 11 turns with this card. This card is going to be doing a ridiculous amount of damage. He, he's he's got to be doing a ridiculous amount of damage. We're going to see what his domain is in just a second. Uh, but to look at what he's doing inside the base part of his card, I mean, his super attack effects are pretty loaded. I will say that. And I will say it's loaded considering that he's gaining a multiple amount of defense and a massive amount of attack for multiple turns. So, of course, he's getting 100% defense for four turns. And he's getting 30% defense for six turns while having that debuffing capability of a 70% chance of stun for two turns. And him giving uh, allies 10% defense for two turns too. That support ability, that su support type ability is something that has to be noted considering the fact that he's giving andrews has cell saga category allies one key and 40 percent attack and 50 percent defense you add on to that and that's one key 40 percent attack and 60 percent defense Be although he's given that defense for multiple turns and the uh the, the defensive support buff is given to all allies rather than just andrews has cell side characters but if you're on the category team that's still one key 40 percent attack and 60 percent defense so him being technically a dual type support unit or a dual support type unit i've worded that weird i mean you have you have to have a super class uh, uh andrew side cell side character with him but granted you have that character with him that is still very good that he's a dual type support character whether you are on the category with that 10 percent defense for multiple turns and whether you uh well whether you're on it for the uh one key and 40 percent attack and 50 percent defense or whether you're not on it for the 10 percent defense for two turns now you uh have, there's there's a couple of this card is is a bit this card's good but it's it's a little weird in some parts of the card like a 30 percent chance to do a additional 
with a low chance. It's a low chance, like 10%. I think it's like a low chance, like a 10% or 15% chance. Someone please let me know down below. I don't exactly know, but I think like a low chance is like a 10 or 15% chance, like a 30% a chance or like a medium chance to do a additional normal that has a low chance of it becoming a super attack is just for a custom card is not really the greatest. Uh, I mean, but to be fair, this is a new rarity. So I guess holding back on this custom card in particular does make sense. Uh, but on that same front, these are, hmm, you know what? I get it. I get it. Actually, I, I see why he held back on it now. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. It's technically he's, it's a new rarity. It makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, and of course he has that 220% defense. Nice. 550% attack when doing a super attack is nice, but he debuffs his defense by 150%. Um, he also has a 50% chance to, I mean, no, let me go back on over to this 150% defensive debuff. He does have the guard, but you have to specifically face a extreme class enemy while having a Anderson Cell side character with you on rotation. So he'll pretty much have that guard. So he'll be fine on that front, right? Albeit it is restricted, he will have it because you're going to want to get that active. And then he'll, of course, have that 30% damage reduction if your guard is active, as well as him being a nuker. Um, yeah, he'll be a nuker, but it's weird because it's. His nuking is only for that one turn. I I feel like he's just going to kill anything in his path. Yeah. He's only able to nuke for one turn. This is... He has a... He has a couple of restrictions. You know what? I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> he has some... I will say... You know what? Nah, it's not an odd restriction, though. It's not odd restrictions because this is a new rarity. And I guess... I can see what he's going for with him testing the waters with how he would create a card like this. Anyways, um, but what I will say, uh, just to move on over to the next part of his card, um, for his uh, little domain, 11 turns with this card is not happening. It's definitely not. Look at the combination of these super attack effects and look what he's getting on super. Although he loses his nuking ability for one turn, he's still going to be doing massive globs of damage, right? For those first five turns, bro. You're blitzing the boss with double. If you're running double of this card, this card is a 240% leader skill. You are blitzing. Blitzing stages with this card. You, you definitely are blitzing stages with this card. Um, Go back on over to his leader skill. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you got Balma here. Anyways, uh, let's go over to the domain for four turns after 11 turns. God damn, you are not touching. There's no way you're touching 11 turns with this card. There's no way. This card is going to be doing massive amounts of damage. Because 100% attack for multiple turns here. 20% attack here. He's going to have 550% uh, attack on super. Although he's debuffing his defense. The enemy's going to fucking die from this guy turn one. Because he's nuking with 21% attack per key retained right here. He gets his attack from his support type buff right over here. And I forgot to get the guard for the seven turns. <laughs> guard for seven turns, 30% damage reduction, nuking, 550% attack with defensive debuff, but the enemy's gonna die regardless. Okay, let's get on over to the uh the next part of his card, that being his little domain. So his domain. Uh, he, he gets new super attack effects as well as, of course, a new passive. He gains 50% attack for one turn while doing colossal damage to the enemy, that being the tri beam, that being his 12 key. His 18 key, the ultimate tri beam, which is a cool name. He gets 100% attack for one turn while doing mega colossal and giving 50% defense to allies for three turns. This is a kicker right here. I feel like, considering this card is going to be killing the boss instantaneously. What is the support? I know I said this. That's nothing you should downplay. This card is just going to kill everything in his path. <laughs> Brother. Okay. Anyways, uh, imagine you have the 50% support TN who is on his 200% skill just floating. Okay. All right. All right. Anyways, uh, he nullifies all attacks directed at this character. So kind of like uh, the tech LR Zamasu, I like to assume, just pretty much like that. 
He gets five key, 550% attack on super. Okay. And Andros has Cell Saga category allies, not just super class allies, just allies in general. Get five key, 30% attack and 60% defense. He's giving five key, 30% attack and 60% defense for free in his passive while giving 50% defense to all allies for three turns. Okay. He has a 50% chance to additional super if all allies on a rotation are Andrews SL Saga. You just want a full Andrews SL Saga team. I, <laughs> you just want a full Andrews SL Saga team. You do. Yeah, 780% defense. <laughs> keep, keep it real. Be real! <laughs> 10 turns? Brother. Anyways. Uh, let me go ahead and reread that. So, he has a 50% chance to additional super if all allies on the rotation are Andrew's Cell Saga. Uh, on a rotation, if four or more tech key spheres have been obtained. Okay. And he also has a 30% chance to cancel enemies' attacks on super for four turns if eight or more key spheres are obtained. You just go ahead and carry around a nuking item with this guy. <laughs> you guys know that little, uh, the, the Takiyomi item? The little, I don't even know how to describe it. Like a little food item, a little food thing for Dogon. That changed, that, it randomly changes tech, tech key spheres for, uh, how do I even like say it? It randomly changes tech key spheres. Uh, it's like a nuking item, you get like 5% attack or whatever per key sphere obtained. You carry around that tech, uh, nuking item. You're literally unstoppable with this card. <laughs> I'm, I'm flustered, bro. This is... Wow. He also has a 30% chance of additional 50% attack at the start of turn. And he has a low chance. So, 30% chance to get additional 50% attack at the start of turn. And a low chance, which I think is like 10% or 15% chance to get 80% attack at the start of turn. Okay. Just a 30% chance to cancel enemies attacks for four turns just a just a chance to have a ghost usher for four turns a 30 percent chance okay nothing too crazy not like he's gonna go ahead and kill off the enemy instantaneously but hey um that's going to be about it on this card uh z fighters crane school this all the typical links for a tn z fighters crane school solid support telepathy uh shocking speed shattering the limit oh shattering the limit <laughs> Legendary power. I guess he's gonna awaken from like a little story event. Uh, legendary power and his categories: worldly rivals, final trump card, earthlings, bond of friendship, earth red fighter, turtle school, and his active skill: the last tri beam. Cause super ultimate damage to enemy. Ten key, fifty percent defense for full, for excuse me two turns. <laughs> I'm flustered, guys. I'm sorry. He gets ten key, fifty percent defense for two turns. For wait what? 50% defense for two turns for all. So wait, 10 key and 50% defense for two turns for all super class ally. <laughs> okay. Can be activated with HP is 20% or less, starting from the fifth turn from start of battle, once only, or if character has activated domain. So like I said at the beginning of the video, right? Remember I was talking about this character lowering his HP? Uh, that helps him get his active skill, giving Super class allies, 10 key and 50% defense for two turns. I think we're done here. Um, and guys, these are our stats. Go bananas. Please. Um, go bananas. A Z, a Z uh, well, not my bad. A ULR. I'm about to say a ZLR. A ULR. I think I'm done here. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Uh, W card. Um, just this card's gonna be killing everything in this path. Uh, you guys want to go and send me cards? phdevcustomcards at gmail.com. I'm going to get to your card eventually. Don't you worry. We're going to get there. Also, follow me on Twitch. I believe I have my Twitch channel down below in the description. I did stream some Left 4 Dead yesterday. I did. It was pretty fun. I ain't going to lie. I might do Dead by Daylight. Maybe some scary Roblox games. I have to make like a like a new Roblox account just specifically for streaming. Like a little uh, thing. I might have to do that today before someone takes my BH Devin name. But yeah, appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. Peace.